The next time you bite into a marshmallow cookie, you can thank the ancient Egyptians. They invented marshmallow candy by thickening honey with sap from the root of the marshmallow plant, a herb that grows in salt marshes and along large bodies of water. Modern marshmallow contains gelatin instead of sap from the mallow root. The snap test to make sure the coating is hard and thick enough. Then the taste test. If you've got a sweet tooth, doing quality control in the marshmallow cookie factory is your dream job. To make a batch of dough for the cookie base, they mix wheat flour, salt, baking soda and powder, cornstarch, whey powder, and potassium sorbate. Then they add several liquid ingredients. This one causes a chemical reaction, making the biscuit lighter. This cream-colored liquid is vegetable oil shortening. This transparent liquid is glucose fructose, a sweetener. The ingredient proportions are also a company secret. From the mixer, the dough goes into a machine called the chipper. It shreds the big blob into pieces about the size of the cap on a highlighter pen. This makes the dough more manageable for the next machine, called a rotary mold. Inside that machine, a large roller flattens the dough pieces, forming them into a dense sheet about one and a half centimeters thick. It then presses the sheet against another roller, whose surface is a cookie mold. The factory uses the rotary mold machine for many different types of cookies. It simply installs the appropriate roller for the cookie in production. For marshmallow cookie bases, the mold cavities are round. The bases exit the rotary mold and make their way onto a moving baking sheet that transports them to an oven. The baking time and temperature are, once again, top secret. The baked cookie bases exit the oven and move onto a conveyor belt that transports them to a cooling area. Once they cool to room temperature, the bases go into a machine called the base feeder. It lines them up like marching soldiers to receive their marshmallow filling and chocolate coating. The process does require military precision. Factory technicians have to adjust this machine daily to ensure to the millimeter accuracy. A portion of filling has to land perfectly centered on each base, finishing off in a curled peak, this brand's trademark. The company won't divulge how much marshmallow filling goes into each cookie, nor will it reveal its marshmallow recipe. But marshmallow is usually made from either corn syrup or sugar and gelatin. And now for the final layer, the chocolate coating. Not only are the marshmallow and base covered in hot melted chocolate, the base floats in it, which coats the underside as well. Built-in air jets blow off the excess. The chocolate hardens inside a cooling tunnel. How long that takes and the tunnel temperature are, you guessed it, classified information. As the cookies exit the cooling tunnel, a quality control worker does spot checks to ensure the coating is thorough, hard enough, and thick enough. On the packaging line, the cookies go into plastic trays. To keep up to speed, the workers have to grab four cookies in each hand without breaking the coating. The trays pass through a machine that wraps them in plastic film. This keeps the cookies fresh and also prevents them from falling out of the tray. Meanwhile, another machine assembles the boxes, first folding and gluing one end shut. Once workers load the trays, the machine glues the open end closed as well. Then, with the go-ahead from quality control, the box's next stop is the cookie aisle of your local supermarket.